Hello YouTube, today another video and I'm going to show you which text editor I use for configuring my home assistant setup. On the left you will see my previous um, text editor which is Notepad++ and on the right you will see Sublime Text which is the one I use for a few months now. Well, there are a few obvious reasons why to switch to Sublime. Um, and those are color. The first one is the background color. If you work at night, this color is a lot more pleasing. The second obvious one is color to distinguish um, configuration from ver variables. So for example, here you can see the type is in blue and the configuration, the variable is in black. Here the type is in red and the variable is in yellow. It is easy to distinguish the difference between this and this whilst it is not so easy in Notepad++. Another one is, which is obvious as well, is comments. Comments will be black in Notepad++ just like the variable would. In Sublime however, it will be a different color and it would be the same for includes as you can see here includes are in black whilst in sublime they are blue and last but not least it also is true for secrets as you can see here and here so I found a secret very quickly because I can see them as they are marked blue Right, so this is not the real reason I switched to Sublime. The real reason was because I wanted to uh, remove spaces from the beginning of uh, the code very quickly, and this was not possible with uh, Notepad++ without doing a, a replace and a find and replace a command, which was a long command which I cannot remember. Um, you had to do it like is this and then uh, maybe I do have it oh yeah I still have it as you can see it was something like this then you'd had to select all the lines like uh, like so and then do a find and replace and then replace or something like that it's, uh, something in the way of that which is not really uh, ideal um, I, ha I have to say and this is uh, the same is true for uh, adding or removing uh, lines, uh, spaces, which is difficult in Notepad++. At least I found it difficult. And so there should be an easier way to do that. And with Sublime Text, it is. So now I'm going to show you, for example, I wanted to create a new view. So I um, already created something, so let's remove this. Um, as you can see, I've got a new view with only a vertical stack, and I want to fill that stack with buttons. So let's copy a button from here. I only want a button, I don't want anything else. I'll copy this, put it over here, and as you can see, it will not be at the right place. Just like I showed you here. I'm gonna do. Um, so what you do is you hold shift and your right mouse button and then you drag like so and then you can just press space or backspace or delete and you will be able to move all the lines at once. So that's a neat thing to remember. In Sublime Text this is just as easy as holding shift and right mouse button and drag the selection like so. So what if I wanted to comment out a lot of stuff? So let's open um, the, the views. Uh, let me see. Views. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go to um, Lovelace.yaml so 
and as you can see um, I wanted to uh, comment out all of this these includes so what would you do you hold shift and the right mouse button and drag around the line and then just put in a comment like so very easy to remove them same same procedure just remove them like so very easy you can also do another thing with this which is really cool um, for example I wanted to um, change um, let's see we wanted to change the um, vertical stack to a vertical stacking card so I could select all the vertical stacks very easily by selecting this holding down control and press D so control and D and you will select all the vertical stacks in the view so this one doesn't have uh, more stacks so let's get another another word uh, maybe so there are three conditional cards I think in this view let's try that one as you can see now with control D I will select every subsequent word that matches the first one so you can see control and D and now if I wanted to rename them I could just start typing like um, so vertical stack and you can see it will change everywhere which is a really great feature to have and this is how I rename or delete most of my stuff for example in my uh, updates I will remove all of these lines in every update because well it would be a mess if I leave them and what I would do is select the this piece of code hold control press D and now I can find all the ones marked with that delete them hold control and S to save it and you're done so this is really uh, a great feature to to know about with sublime text another great feature with sublime text is very simple for example um, yeah let's reload it um, for example if I wanted to um, write on the next line oh my god I threw some something over the table I'm sorry for the noise <laughs> um, so for example if I wanted to continue writing here I can do that very easily with notepad plus plus but what if I wanted to go three lines back or four lines back I would have to do it one two three four five six okay we're here so then it would align with the other uh, with the other types but I have to do it one by one in notepad plus plus if I would do the same thing if I press backspace it will always go back to spaces so I only have to do it twice instead of six times which is easier All right so I will close this up and just uh, leave this uh, open and um, I will show you another good uh, thing to know um, which is probably in every text editor but I'm going to show you anyways uh, for example if you want to cut something you do you use control X um, you already know that and undo is control C uh, control Z or Z wherever you're from All right so in sublime text if you want to redo something you press control Y so Z and Y All right that's it for my uh, tutorial to uh, sublime text I uh, hope uh, it will make your uh, home assistant experience a lot easier because it has for me um, thank you for watching if you uh, if you like my videos please uh, comment on the section below uh, subscribe to my channel or uh, uh, if you want to get notified please uh, press on the bell icon and you will get notified for every new video 
Thank you for watching and see you next time.